Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about something that I found from Alpha Investments channel. Uh, he has a video of the death of singles. So we all know that Alpha Investment does not sell singles as much as he used to. He used to do mass uh, box breaks, keep the masterpieces or expeditions and then sell these singles on his eBay account. Selling singles is really difficult. I think it's only gonna get more and more difficult um, let me tell you a story about the convention. So that's a obviously one venue where you can find a lot of people interested in buying singles. So that's a kind of a good temperature of the room. Uh, I mean, with so many different vendors, so many different buyers, sellers, and traders, you can assume that this is you know pretty realistic in terms of what the marketplace is actually like. So uh, two, three months ago, Sasha T, who has a YouTube channel, and he had a Kobe refractor that was greening and the last sale of PSA 10 was like 120 he wanted $220 because he was saying the future of the card so he was selling you the card at the future price so what he believed the card currently was at was probably over 100k over what it currently what the card the future of the card he wanted to double the price. And we're not talking about cheap card here. The Kobe refractor is quite expensive. His had a little greening and his was a PSA 9. And he wanted, I think, 210,000 for it, which went down to 180,000 and no deal was made because 180,000 is PSA 9 versus 120, which was a PSA 10. So even the grades were not same, but that's how much they were inflating the prices of these cards. So if you wanted to say, hey, I want to match eBay comp, which would give the seller and the vendor, you know, a uh, 15% because that's eBay fees, then nobody would do it at the show three months ago when Sasha T did his half a million dollar, supposedly half a million dollar charge art first edition PSA 10. So if you went to that show, you understand what I'm saying is if you want to say, hey, would you give me this card for eBay comp, you save 15%, I get the card now, they would laugh at you. You would say, no, 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 the card market is going up, I want double. So let's say the card sold on eBay yesterday for $100, and you went to a dealership, and that, everyone is so bright-eyed, they wanted at least 120 for the card. So it just sold on eBay for 100, hey, I'm willing to sell it to you for 120. Okay, now go back to today, the Pokemon Con or Collector Con or the shows. You can watch these vloggers and as long as you, you can watch Sasha T's vlogs, you can see a massive change in what people are willing to accept. People are willing to sell less base slabs for 50% or less eBay comp. So they went from offering, you know, wanting to get double like Sasha T did for the Kobe Refractor, double the price to now offering half and being happy with half. So this is the same vendor, by the way. There are plenty of vendors that did this. So when the sports market, Pokemon market was hot, they were offering, They, if you wanted to buy a card from them more for $100, they would ask you to pay 150, if not $200, because even though it comped at 100 a few days ago, they're expecting this card to double and triple basically overnight. And that's what they sold you. That same vendor today is now buying your cards at 50% eBay comp, which honestly is below Magic the Gathering buy list for the valuable cards. So if you're dealing with a $1,000 card, I would never offer 50% comp, right? I'm offering 70% at least, but in the sports card realm, they're offering 50%, sometimes 60%, sometimes 55%, uh, sometimes a little higher, sometimes a little lower depending on how many bulk cards there are. And that blows my mind because only a few months ago, if you wanted to say, hey, I want to pay you eBay comp, half the vendors would laugh at your face and say, no, 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 this card's going up in price. I can't match the last eBay comp because that was 10 days ago. Now they're pulling a reverse trick. They're using the eBay comps 10 days ago to justify because that's how far the market is crashing and it's crashing every day. And I see these videos. I, I think Alpha Investment is right. 
like collect magic cards if you want to or collect cards because you want to and you actually want to hold onto them but if you're looking at a good investment on this i would say it's the, the days of you know your returns are over i mean that story that analogy only happened 90 days later and now people the same vendor who would never sell it at comp is buying your cards at 50 percent comp today i mean it's brutal right it is absolutely brutal what the and, and it makes sense you know during COVID 19 a lot of people didn't have jobs they were on unemployment checks and they wanted to have a side hustle and the side hustle became sports cards and that kind of blew up and now people can get real jobs again nine to fives and people are, stores are open um, I saw a video from Lewis Rossman from YouTube and you know New York looks relatively open even though he his point of the video was New York sucks New York City so I mean we're dealing with a scenario where I mean it's obvious to any local game store owner that selling singles is a lot harder now because the prices have been very volatile so like if, if prices are so volatile then the buyer doesn't want to buy because if they buy today's price, it might lose half its value in the next 30 days. And if the prices go up, then the, the, the seller doesn't want to sell. So in aspect, in terms of volume, in terms of what you want to do, you want a stable, you, want, you don't want the volatility that now exists. And the volatility is down. Like people say buy the dip. It's like, no, like where's the dip? Like, I don't understand, like, with what money are you buying the dip with? You lost all of your money. Like, you're telling, you're gonna take a second mortgage in your home now? My advice is wait it out, see what happens. You have time. Why, why, why the rush to buy into a, a falling knives market? You got time. If, if it goes up, great. Then you can buy into it. Like, it's not like it is a, I know a lot of people on YouTube are claiming all oh, the LeBron refractors go, it's one card, Every the entire market's down. It's one card that doesn't have that big of a population that can easily be manipulated. Like, like don't, you understand? that's what the people were accusing Pokemon King, Gary of, manipulating the first edition charge art since he basically had all of them. And he would post like a fake price on eBay to get attention. I mean, this is the stuff that Rudy has done in the past, right? And people, oh, hey, it must be $100 million now because that's what Pokey Gary said. And it's like, no, but they, they don't have a buy until someone buys it. And even when someone buys it, it can be very sketchy, right? Because a lot like what Sasha T did, he said it was a half a million dollar Charizard. But if you watch this video, he paid 100,000 cash and 300,000 trade. Trade is not equal to cash. And even if it was, 100 plus 300 is equal to 400. But by making a video and having so many people watch it with the title five hundred thousand dollars, like it's inflated, right? He inflated it a hundred k over even over the trade. So forget the trade. Assume it's four hundred k cash. But now, like, and it, it looked like a cool deal in the beginning, but now it looks kind of dumb because the card has gone down so much. And even though there's no auction to the card, anybody will tell you the card's not worth half a million dollars. Definitely not cash. And I don't even think it's a half a million dollars in trade right now. I wouldn't even pay over 250 for it. I wouldn't even pay even 200 because it's not that rare, it turns out. Hi, <laughs> guys.